Looking to cool down your Intel Core i5-12600K, but not sure which is the best cooler? You're in the right place. I've picked out three CPU coolers that offer great performance at different price points. We'll check out a budget-friendly option that packs a punch, a premium cooler, and finally my top choice that hits the sweet spot between performance and value. Stick around, and if you find this helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and share your thoughts in the comments below. All the details and prices are listed in the description. Let's jump right in. Number 3. Arctic Freezer 36 – Best Budget Cooler for Intel Core i5-12600K while there are a lot of great AIOs you can buy these days, they're usually a bit on the pricier side. If you're on a budget and you're fine with air cooling and want an easier installation process cooler to pair with the i5-12600K, the Arctic Freezer 36 is probably your best bet. It's an improvement over its predecessors, the already popular Freezer 35 and 34 eSports duo, and is very reasonably priced. The cooler comes in four variants, a standard version, an all-black version, an ARGB version, and a white ARGB version. All models have slightly different pricing, but the standard and black versions are the most affordable ones. There's no difference in performance, so it really just comes down to the aesthetic you're looking for. Either way, the Freezer 36 uses four copper heat pipes, two 120mm high-pressure PWM fans, and features complete support for AM5 and Intel's LGA1700 socket. It even promises support for Intel's upcoming LGA1851 socket for Arrow Lake. Design-wise, this is a single-tower cooler that uses two 120mm fans. This makes it easier to install in tight spaces, meaning if you have a small case and tall RAM modules, it'll fit in without any trouble. Speaking of which, the installation is dead simple for AM5 motherboards. For a budget CPU cooler, you get a surprising amount of accessories in the box. You get mounting hardware for both Intel and AMD, a custom contact frame for LGA1700, a custom Arctic sticker, and a generous tube of their highly regarded MX6 thermal paste. In terms of performance, it's rated to handle CPUs that have a TDP of 200 watts or above, so the i5-12600K is no problem for it at all. The new fans do a lot of the heavy lifting here, and the refined fin stack array makes it a major improvement compared to the Freezer 35 and 34 eSports duo. It's surprising how air coolers are improving to the point that they're close to many AIOs. The Freezer 36 can easily match the performance of a lot of 240 and even 280mm liquid coolers, and that's saying a lot. At full maximum load, it does get a little loud compared to other single-tower coolers, but that's mainly because of the two fans. Regardless, the noise never reaches uncomfortable levels, which is always good. As for competition, the main alternative to this is the Deepcool AK400. Both coolers trade blows in terms of performance, but the Freezer 36 is a bit cheaper. All in all, this cooler offers exceptional value and performance for its price. So, if you want a cooler that provides excellent cooling performance, silent operation, and easy installation, the Arctic Freezer 36 is the perfect choice. To sum up, what I like is the superb performance for the money. Dead simple installation includes contact frame for Intel. On the downside, slightly louder than other single-tower coolers, and ARGB version is slightly overpriced. Ratings. Design and aesthetics, 8 out of 10. Cooling performance, 9 out of 10. Noise, 8 out of 10. Installation, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. Number 2. Enermax Aquafusion ADV 360 ARGB – Best Premium Cooler for Intel Core i5-12600K Enermax is a Taiwanese company that's been in the CPU cooling game for quite some time, and if you've never heard of them, that's about to change. 
The Enermax Aquafusion ADV is a CPU cooler that not only gives some of the best cooling performance, it also offers great acoustics after a little tinkering. The cooler can not only handle easily the 12600K, but it can even handle higher-end CPUs like the 13700K and more. So there's even room for upgradability. Let's find out how it holds up. Starting off with the packaging, the Enermax Aquafusion ADV360 comes with three 120mm ADV fans, mounting brackets for supported processors, a fan noise reduction cable, and an RGB control box along with other typical accessories to install the cooler. There's also a thermal paste tube included, meaning you'll have to manually apply the thermal paste before installation. This is not something you usually see, as most AIO coolers come with thermal paste pre-installed on the cooler. From a design perspective, the cooler comes in two colors, black and white, making it perfect even for white-themed builds. The radiator is 394mm long and 27mm thick, which is fairly common for modern 360mm AIO coolers. The two tubes are nylon braided with a length of 400mm, allowing you to move them around freely without any damage worries. This is also complemented by the 90 degrees rotation of the tubes at the base of the pump, which can help make the installation easier. On the top of the pump, you'll find what the company calls the Infinity Mirror with ARGB and the Enermax text. There could have been room here for an LCD screen that allowed for more customizations, other than just the lighting, but considering the sub $100 price point, it's really acceptable. What's more than acceptable is the performance of the cooler. The Enermax Aquafusion ADV360 is able to keep the temperatures well within the 65 to 70 degrees Celsius range under an intensive workload for a 30 minute test run. These results outperform competitors like NZXT Kraken X73 and even Corsair IQ H510 Elite, both of which are more expensive than the Aquafusion ADV360. In terms of acoustics, the fan noise can become audible at speeds of 2800 RPM and beyond, however with a little tinkering of fan speeds, you can achieve great overall noise levels that are barely audible. For installation, the cooler offers vast support for both Intel and AMD, along with the 12600K based on the LG A1700 chipset, the cooler also supports other chipsets such as 1800, 1200, 1366 and more. As for AMD, you're looking at support for AM5 and AM4, along with older chipsets like AM3 Plus and more. The installation procedure is also not complicated, thanks to the included manual. You'll have to mount the respective Intel bracket since it doesn't come pre-installed, apply thermal paste on the CPU, plug in the RGB and power cables, and you should be good to go. The cooler comes in smaller radiator variants of 240mm and 120mm as well, which you can use for compact cases. In conclusion, the Enermax Aquafusion ADV360 is a cooler that doesn't compromise on anything, be it performance, overall looks, and RGB, or even acoustics, though it does require a little customization. To sum up, what I like is that the cooling performance is superior to pricier competitors and the easy installation. On the downside, the stock acoustics are slightly loud, and thermal paste is not pre-applied. Ratings. Design and aesthetics, 9 out of 10. Cooling performance, 9 out of 10. Noise, 8 out of 10. Installation, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 8.5 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8.5 out of 10. Number 1. Thermalrite Frozen Note 240, our top choice. Thermalrite is a well-established name in the cooling industry at this point, and they're certainly not compromising anything with their Thermalrite Frozen Note 240 either. 
This cooler has a high-speed external pump with speeds of 5,300 RPM, which isn't a common sight, allowing it to handle intensive workloads with ease. Let's find out exactly how well it performs. The Thermalrite Frozen Note 240 is packaged with cardboard, foam, and plastic to protect the components. Inside the box, you get the 240mm radiator with two 120mm fans that are pre-installed, mounting brackets for Intel and AMD platforms, fan adapters, and a user manual. The cooler doesn't come with thermal paste pre-applied, so you also get a thermal paste tube for manual application. Looking at the design and build of the cooler, it's well-built, just like you'd expect from Thermalrite products. CPU coolers are often based on Asetek designs with some modifications, but the Thermalrite Frozen Note 240 features an external pump. And as mentioned before, this pump can reach a max speed of 5,300 RPM. Such designs are not commonly found in the cooling market, and it surely is a nice addition. The top of the pump features an infinity mirror with ARGB lighting and the Thermalrite logo in white, while the bottom features a copper contact plate directly touching the CPU. The radiator is 277mm in length with a thickness of 27mm, meaning it should fit most cases without any worries. The cooler comes in two traditional colors, black and white. There's also a 360mm radiator option available, which comes with a triple fan setup and a much bigger radiator, offering even better cooling. In performance, the Frozen Note 240 really hits a home run. The cooler is able to provide better results than competitors like the Deepcool AG500 and even Be Quiet Pure Loop 2FX. When running Cinebench, the Frozen Note 240 maintains the temperature well within the 50 degrees Celsius range. On the other side, Deepcool AG500 and Be Quiet Pure Loop 2 FX allow the temperatures to go up to 55 degrees Celsius and higher. The acoustics levels are also great. Even here, the cooler outperforms the Be Quiet Pure Loop 2 FX, and it goes head to head with the Deepcool AG500. Noise levels reach up to 42 decibels, which means you shouldn't be able to hear the fans, even at high speeds. In terms of installation, the user manual lists five simple steps to install the cooler. These are pretty easy to follow, even for beginners, and include installing the mounting bracket, mounting the radiator to the case, and plugging in the cables. However, you must make sure not to forget to apply thermal paste before installing the cooler, since there's no pre-applied thermal paste. That said, the cooler supports Intel LG A1700 and 1200, among others, along with a much wider AMD chipset support. Starting from AM2 all the way to AM5, your options are unlimited when it comes to AMD. All in all, the Thermalrite Frozen Note 240 is a cooler that matches the performance of 360mm radiators, offering exceptional cooling. You would expect high noise levels for such a show, but even there, there's not much room for complaints. This is truly an overall champion product. To sum up, what I like is the exceptional cooling, the great price-to-performance ratio, and the competitive price. On the downside, the thermal paste is not pre-applied. Ratings. Design and aesthetics, 8.5 out of 10. Cooling performance, 9 out of 10. Noise, 9 out of 10. Installation, 9 out of 10. Value for money, 9 out of 10 for an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Thanks for staying till the end. If you're looking to optimize your PC even further, don't stop here. We have more videos filled with suggestions and reviews to help you make the best decisions. Don't miss out. Click on the videos showing up now. And before you head out, remember to like, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments. It really helps a lot. Catch you in the next one.